What is going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to explain how to create a 2019 vision board uh, for your new year. So basically it's visualizing what you want to achieve in the new year and how you want to sort of live your 2019 life, whether it be financially or financial goals, uh, health goals, uh, emotion goals, just anything like that. Uh, it's pretty simple to do what you need. You're going to need push pins. So I have a ton of these little clear and metal push pins. You're going to need a lot of these if you have a lot of visions. And then you're also going to need one of these uh, cork boards, which is, are like, a, I don't I don't know. I think they're around 20 bucks at Target. So um, I, I would grab one of these. I'll leave a link in the description for one you can get online. Um, and then what you also will need is I use a printer and uh, obviously ink and paper for your printer. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of gonna be it. And a computer, obviously. But yeah, that's kind of it for that. So when I'm creating my boards, um, and if you guys haven't seen my video that I posted yesterday, I basically went over my old vision board and showed uh, what I had visioned for my 2018. And I went over like what I achieved and what I had not. And then uh, after that, I kind of took off all of my old visions. And now I'm gonna go over them and see which ones I wanna keep on my board and which ones I wanna scrap. Okay, so if you did not see my old video, yesterday that I uh, posted these are all of my old visions this is what I had I had some quotes and all this stuff but if you guys want to see all that you can just and uh, have me explain why I have all these as my visions so you can watch the video that I posted uh, yesterday I'll leave a tab up here to click um, but basically I'm going to be keeping the GTR that's still a goal of mine I, I actually told my brothers I'm going to be buying this this year uh, in 2019 it's just kind of one of those things where I, I think it's a uh, time March 15th, I wanted to buy this car. Scrapping that, I no longer want that car. Formal education will make you a living. Self-education will make you a fortune. Uh, I, I believe in this, but I don't think it needs to be on my vision board. I've had that really set in my mind. People who never quit, I don't really think I need this anymore, to be completely honest. So this is going to be, you know, I, I read this and I have this uh, on my computer, but I don't think I need to have it on my vision board. So I'm scrapping that as well. Now we're going to have Lamborghini Aventador. I really no longer want this car, so scrapping that. A Ferrari F430. I no longer want that. Scrap. A house. You know, I still want a house like this, um, but I... Yeah, we'll keep that on. A picture of Ty Lopez. Um, do not need that. Financial goals for 2018. It is not 2018 anymore. New year, new goals. Happiness. Happiness will stay. This is a forever goal of mine, and it's um, something I've uh, been working on trying to perfect. So uh, we're gonna keep these three on the board, and everything else is going to be filled with new stuff. I don't know if I wanna tape it or pin everything because I don't have enough pins, enough push pins to pin it on the board, but we'll figure it out because uh, that's kind of what we do here. Okay, so now basically I'm gonna get into my computer and I'm gonna start typing up like a, my financial goals for 2019, how much I want to make, uh, and then my health goals and my uh, emotional goals, uh, like you know how I want to go through 2019. Do I want to be uh, introvert, not even introvert, just like a shy, not shy either, just uh, you know, kind of like a low key person where I'm not going out as much and you know, how, how do I want to live my 2019? So that's kind of, uh, those were, that's, that's the main points that I'm focusing on is uh, health, wealth, and um, emotions, kind of what I want to feel like for 2019. And uh, I guess love life, I don't really want a girlfriend, so I'm not putting a girlfriend on there just because I don't think that I need to focus on that right now, but I don't know, things can change, who knows? Um, but yeah, time to start printing pictures. All right, now that I have some pictures of my goals and uh, some scissors, I'm going to start cutting these pictures out and pinning them onto my board. So here are some of the things I have so far. I have a picture of luggage and uh, palm trees and a hot air balloon. I just thought it was a good, uh, and a little airplane, a good picture to represent traveling because um, I like traveling. I traveled to Texas this year and that was a blast. Um, I, you know, I went by myself and it was like a really, really, really fun experience. So I want to incorporate a lot of traveling in my 2019, I believe, I don't really know though, because um, part of me wants to like save a ton of money and well, not even save, just uh, stay focused on my businesses, but part of me wants to travel. So I don't really know what's gonna end up happening. I just put it on there because um, traveling makes me, it doesn't make me happy, but it, it, it's a fun time. I enjoy it a lot. And then I also have, I updated the GTR picture. So I had a uh, orange one, but I had a dream about a gray one. So that is why I have a picture of the, I think this is the R36. This is the newest model um, GTR. So I have a new picture of it. It's a 
newer model, or not the same model as the orange one, just the gray color, just because this is the color I want. So yeah, we have that, that I'll be pinning on. We then have a uh, black Range Rover supercharged. Um, this is just the Range Rover. It's not the Sport or anything or the Velar. It is the Range Rover. Um, and I, I believe this is a supercharged one. I'm not sure, but I like the blacked out uh, look of cars or like white on black or something. Um, so yeah, that's kind of, that's another one of my goals. I want to have an SUV and that's a sick car. I enjoy nice cars and uh, I have a, when I was in Texas, my cousin has one of those but it's a the sport supercharged one and we were driving in that thing and that was made me realize that like I want nice I want a car like that so that's why that is on my board as well um, and then after we are going to go ahead and get into these so then I have the 458 um, Italia yellow I it's yellow is my favorite color so that's kind of why I did yellow we have consistency is key you know I think a lot of people um, not even with business, just with everything in life, don't have consistency. And that's kind of a big deal because uh, I've noticed like when I'm super consistent with anything, that's when I become very successful with it. So when, in YouTube, uh, you guys watching my videos, I became really successful on YouTube when I posted every single day and live streamed like literally every single day. That's how I grew my channel very, very fast. Like I grew from zero subs or I think it was at like 50 subscribers to over a few thousand in a matter of like a month um, or like a yeah probably a month and it was crazy to see um, so you know I understood that consistency is key doing my research on stuff is key um, but even with business like staying at it and just constantly keeping my goals in front of me and understanding like what I want and then just going after them completely that's what I really really need to focus on uh, with 2019 and not even just like 2019 like I'm not saying this because it's a new year all new me no I hate that thought of um, you know new year new me I'm just saying like I want to keep it in front of me right now I update my vision board yearly um, so that's why I'm putting it on there Th don't get this confused with like my new year's resolutions at all um, you know it's just a new year I have new goals so that's kind of yeah that's that okay next I have a pair of dumbbells right there that's just to represent the gym I want to work out consistently consistently work out um, and then I have the YouTube uh, 100k subs I photoshopped my name on there so you can see uh, it's my name for congratulations for 100,000 subs. Um, so yeah, that's that's sweet right there. I've had the goal of hitting 100,000 subs for quite some time and I am confident that if I can make enough content um, to get out there and I need to make viral content, like content in my niche that will go viral, uh, I need to have consistency with like my videos, uploading tons of content and getting those opportunities to start getting uh, videos to go pretty viral. So that's uh, my goal. I've, I think the most viewed video I have is like 33,000, uh, which is pretty good, but it's nowhere near where I want. I want like million view videos of uh, half a mil videos, 100k view view videos and I'm not gonna get to 100k subs and growing my channel immensely by posting once a month like that's not what that's not gonna happen I'm gonna need to post a lot of content so that's I, I accept it and I know what I need to do so that's why I'm working hard towards it uh, the next goal uh, the thing we're going on my vision board is going to be it's kind of a weird picture but it is a picture of meal prep or prepped meals I'm not sure if I want to actually meal prep myself or delegate it out to someone else. I really haven't decided yet just because time is very valuable um, in my life. I really value my time, so I don't know if I want to prep them myself or pay someone. I still have not decided on that. Um, but yeah, those are my goals so far, or not even goals, just vision, yeah, on my vision board. Um, so now I'm gonna cut them with scissors. And then um, I also have my financial goals and another picture I need to print out right now. So I'm gonna print out some more and then get to cutting, so yeah. All right, so I've just finished putting on all of the things onto my board as far as like what I have so far. I don't really know what else I'm going to be putting in. It looks pretty empty still, but um, it's a good start like to what I want to visualize. I had my vision board last year was not even full, so um, I don't know. I don't really know what else to add, but so far this is what it uh, looks like. So basically we have happiness, because uh, happiness is freaking key, literally. Um, sacrifice, I've learned that through sacrificing a lot of stuff, you can actually achieve quite a bit uh, in the long term. So that's why I've got that, and then we've got you know all this stuff laid out. <clears throat> laid out, excuse me, um, and then I have my car's laid out right there that I would like to own in the future. Um, this one I should be buying this year, uh, when pretty much 100%. 
um, should be buying this year. I just want to make sure the time is right. And then consistency is key. Yes, it is key. Um, and yeah, all that stuff. And then I have my financial goals right here. Uh, I want to be doing, I want to profit a mill um, in 2019. It's, <laughs> you know, it's like weird to say that because I'm 18 years old. I'll be 19 in 2019, but um, making a million dollars at 19 years old, like that's something people don't even think of doing it. Like they don't, even, a lot of people don't even think that's possible at my age. And that's kind of why I set these goals. Like I literally, I don't know if you guys can name a ton of kids who drive Ferraris and uh, Range Rovers and GTRs at 19 years old, um, or who like own a huge house or um, travel the world by themselves or, you know, have stuff situated. And that's why I make these goals because if you want to achieve something that few people have, you have to kind of plan, like make goals that most people don't, can't even think are, like can't even fathom. So that's why I set goals so high. Um, it's kind of like the 10x rule. Like if you want to make a hundred grand in a year, uh, aim for a million. Cause then if you only, if you don't get close to a million, let's say you do like 400K, that's still way better than your 100K goal. Cause then if your 100K goal, you only get to like 60K, that's good. I mean, compared to your goal, but if you want, you know, you, you need to aim high. And I'm not saying I want to make 400k no I want to make a million um, so that's why I, I probably should have put 10 million on there then um, just because I would have worked hard towards the 10 mil I might actually change that right now um, but yeah that's kind of the uh, mindset behind why I aim so high it's not even like I am making this goal and I'm super confident that I can achieve it through hard work and dedication um, not even hard work, honestly, just um, working very smart and uh, outsourcing where needed, delegating people properly to what needs to happen and just making big deals happen. So um, how I'm going to be pursuing the $1 million uh, you know, goal for my vision, uh, it's going to be here. These are the um, what I'm aiming for. It's web development, social media management, digital marketing, uh, consultant, being a consultant for businesses, so helping them out with their business, uh, web development, uh, slash SMMA course, YouTube ad revenue, affiliate marketing, and e-commerce. So those are the streams of income that should suffice, um, should bring me in a mill this year, this coming year. That's kind of what I'm aiming for. That's, I'm in all these businesses as we speak. I do not have, um, what, what haven't I done? I don't do consulting for businesses yet. I mean, I do web development and development and social media management for companies, but I don't consult with them and like help them grow and you know, stuff like that. Like have meetings with them where they pay me to give advice. I don't do that yet. I would love to though. Um, affiliate marketing, I'm in it already kind of like through YouTube, um, in a sense, and then web development slash social, social media marketing course. I do not have a course yet. Um, although I think that would be a value for a lot of my viewers if they could learn how I make the income I make because if I can do you know a million dollars through all these businesses I'm sure people would be curious and interested to learn how an 18 or 19 year old um, generated that amount of income so that's kind of why um, yeah that's why I have those financial goals and that's kind of a, my vision board for the most part I mean it's it's not done at all like there's seriously so much space like I haven't even um, haven't even filled up probably three fourths of the board. Like I've probably used a quarter at most. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be filling this up throughout the next few days, but hopefully you guys can get an idea now of like what to put on your vision board. So I mainly focus, my big focus is right now, like for this next year is, <laughs> it's gonna sound very uh, materialistic, but, it, and I'm not, I, I just think it's one of those things where I enjoy driving fast cars, uh, you know, so that's why I want these cars. Um, so, you know, I'm focusing on cars. I really, really, really want to buy this one, uh, the Nissan GTR. Um, and then uh, meal prepping, prepping, this is gonna be one thing I'm really wanting to tackle and working out a ton. I want to be in the gym almost like every day if I can. Um, obviously not weightlifting every day, like, cause you have to take breaks uh, and let your body rest. But uh, you know, I think that's gonna be huge in my next year and then consistency that's just overall like with everything um you know my businesses you know this you can't i literally can't make a million dollars if i'm not consistent so that's in my mind so that's why i put that on there just because it literally is key um sacrifice like i i just think it's huge um so you know i would say a general guideline for you guys try to focus on what you want in life um, whether it be, it's fine to ask for finance, not even ask, it's fine to plan for financial things. A lot of people may think like, oh, you're just materialistic and you just want things. And no, it's like, I just know what I want. And a lot of people try to pers uh, make a persona where they're like not even caring about 
um, material stuff when in reality they probably do. They just don't want to act the way uh, they actually feel and it's fine for them but um, I really don't care the way I um, per portray what I want. I put it out there just because um, I don't know, I, I feel like it, it makes things happen. I took a picture of a BMW M3 on my phone uh, when I was in high school still, jokingly, not even jokingly, kind of like hysterically was saying like, oh yeah, one day I'm gonna buy this car. And uh, six months later I bought the car in cash. And it was like basically the same exact car. Like it was nuts to have that happen. Like I, I literally did not, couldn't even fathom buying the car, um, let alone buying it in full. And now I own it, like it's in my garage. Um, so yeah, that was kind of crazy to happen, but I've just understood that like visualizing things is um, it's, it's huge. So yeah, hope this video helped you guys out. If you're wanting to create a vision board, I, I strongly suggest you do for 2019. It is by far the most powerful way and effective way to um, achieve your goals. It's not necessarily saying like, oh yeah, I'm going to plan this out and then it's all going to just going to happen. Not at all. It's just when you can't consistently see all the things you want in life and all the things you desire and the way you want to live and your financial goals and um, you know the things you want want to do like everything when you're constantly seeing that it reminds you on a daily basis of uh, the fact that you need to work hard towards your goals and keep them in front of you at all times so that you can consistently push forward uh, to the next level so that's kind of why I create vision boards it's not to be like oh yeah if I put it into the universe it'll just magically happen no it's like you just have to go for it and um, when you keep your goals in front of you it's very easy to go at things full Full, uh, full speed just because when you're looking at literally the things that you could potentially own and you don't own them it, it, it should motivate you if it doesn't I don't I that sucks um, it for me it works so that's why I do this but um, yeah that's gonna be up it for this video hope you guys did enjoy um, me creating my vision board for 2019 um, I sat on my floor most of the video but if you did enjoy please give this video a thumbs up and comment below if you have any questions or anything regarding Kind of anything. Um, and also subscribe if you guys have not already. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Have a good one.